Welcome to the second hour of our program. On the line with us, Phil Itner, the veteran war correspondent now based in Kiev, Ukraine. Uh, you can find his video blog over on YouTube. Just plug in Philip, P-H-I-L-I-P, Itner, I-T-T-N-E-R. Uh, his Twitter handle is the reverse of that, Itner Philip. And Phil, welcome back to the program. I, I saw a headline, I believe it was yesterday, might have been the day before, suggesting that within a month or two, Russia will have a 10 to 1 advantage over Ukraine in terms of armaments because of this 16 month holdup by Republicans in the House of Representatives of U.S. military aid for Ukraine. Is that accurate? That's that's the estimate. Um, and that's what we can expect soon. But already we're seeing the effect of the GOP. Uh, obstructing getting aid to Ukraine. We are under constant attack here by things that heretofore we could knock out of the sky, that the air defenses here were capable of deterring. But <clears throat> Kharkiv, uh, the, the second largest city uh, in Ukraine, uh, it's uh, located out in the east, uh, very close to the Russian border. It is getting pelted on a daily basis, things that they could have knocked out of the sky if they had air defense. Um, uh, in Kherson, uh, down near the Black Sea, uh, a, you know, a very similar story. And here in Kiev, just last night, one of the major power plants um, was hit and basically knocked out of commission. And that is something that could have been avoided if we had ammunition for, in particular, the Patriot missile system, which we sent over here. But because Ukrainians don't know when they're going to be getting any more uh, ammo, basically, uh, they're having to count every single shot, which means that they are second-guessing themselves constantly about, is this, a, is this something we need to defend against? And it shouldn't be that way. Oh, um, oh. So it's, it's very... Tenuous. All because of, uh, forgive my language here, these goddamn Republicans. I, I'm just astonished that it, Mike Johnson and Marjorie Taylor Greene and this whole, this whole bunch in the House of Representatives are so eager for Vladimir Putin, this bloodthirsty dictator, to destroy the largest democracy in Europe. I mean, I'm just, I, I, I'm just blown it's, away. It, 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 you know, Ukrainians have been so gracious to me, and when I talk to them about the support that you uh, that America and the West has given to Ukraine previously, they've been very gracious, and they have. I know that simmering beneath it, uh, a lot of people here are upset. Well, that is no longer simmering beneath the surface. There is a lot of anger here. Not yeah. they re they recognize that they are coming hat in hand to the West. They realize that they're under you know beggars can't be choosers. As my as my grandmother used to tell me, but at the same time, we made promises yep. to the people of Ukraine and to Ukraine as a nation state. We we are signatures to the 1994 Budapest Agreement in which we said, Ukraine, you give up your nukes. We will guarantee your territorial sovereignty. And we are woefully betraying that promise and that obligation. And while the Ukrainian people have been very, as I say, very understanding of the fact that we have been infiltrated by the Russians, the, the GOP is doing Putin's bidding for a for a reason. I mean, it is, it, and this is not, that is not me being a conspiracy theorist. Republicans themselves are now saying that, they're, that, that the, the Russian propaganda dominates within certain sectors of the GOP, notably, of course, the, the, the so-called Freedom Caucus. Yeah. When Marjorie Taylor Greene and Johnson. McCall, the chairman and of the House, the House Intelligence Committee, came out and said, said this uh, just a couple days ago. And then the chairman yep, of the uh, House Foreign Relations Committee said the same thing. And these are Republicans. And they're both saying that it, Republican it, propaganda is now basically running all of the other Republicans who are aligned with Donald Trump. Yeah, and it's and it, it, we shouldn't be as glib as to just say, oh, it's you know propaganda. This is an information war. Yes, this is a this is a military operation. The, uh, Russia's intelligence body uh, is separated into kind of a civilian side, which we would you know consider it's not the same because uh, our structures are very different. But like 
the CIA, as opposed to covert military operations conducted out of out of the Pentagon. These are two separate things, and that's as close as a similarity as I can get to the structure of Russia. And I mention it because it is not the civilian side of Russia's intelligence uh, apparatus that is attacking us, that is that is putting forward this kind of activity. It is their military. It is the GRU. It is their military intelligence operations. And these are covert operations meant to actually conduct information warfare, and they're being very successful, and they're and they're getting with the assistance of the GOP, which seems to have no backbone and no ability to push back against this information warfare. That 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 this Ukraine finds itself in the position where it is, and we are letting this country down badly. I mean, we could lose power here any day, Tom. That's how bad things are. I want to call on everybody who's listening to this program right now to call 202-224-3121, which is the congressional switchboard. Ask for your member of the House of Representatives. We all have one, um, uh, even in D.C. I mean, there's Ellen's, Eleanor Holmes' note, and she can't vote, but she's there. Um, call and ask for your member of the House of Representatives. If you don't know who it is, give them your zip code, and they'll tell you who it is. And they will connect you with their office and tell them, get aid to Ukraine now. Whatever it now, takes. Now more than ever. Yes. Now more than ever. Yeah. It has been too long, and they have been running on fumes as it is. And we're getting to the point where we can't... There is no proper air defense here. Uh, it, it is not functioning. And that means that wow. Russia can just help every city. And we're talking millions of people are going to be without power. Millions of people are going to be uh, under direct threat of, of missile attack. Uh, it's we're at a crisis point in Ukraine, and it can't be pushed off any further while Congress, you know, dilly dallies and it and dithers and and does Vladimir Putin's bidding because that's exactly what they're doing. Yes. They're useful idiots, if if not, you know, they're fellow traitors travelers. in my mind. They are traitors. This I is agree. treason in my I agree. opinion. Um, treason against the United States. Treason against democracy around the world. This is the worst kind of behavior. This is, this is, I mean, it, uh, arguably it's on par with the Republicans like uh, Hamilton Fish back in, in 1939, 40, and 41, who were on the floor of the House saying, oh, we can do business with this, Mr. Hitler, and he hates communists just like we do, so we shouldn't intervene in that war in Europe, you know. Uh, it's, 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 uh, and, we shouldn't and, be here. And we, and we look back at here. those people, and, and then, and now, you know, Rachel Maddow just wrote this book where she did a deep dive into a lot of these people that on the floor of the House and Senate were singing Hitler's praises and, and preventing Franklin Roosevelt from offering any aid to Europe. And it turns out that many of them were actually being paid by Hitler. And I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of these people, I mean, you know, Citizens United made it perfectly legal for foreign governments to deliver money to super PACs and PACs and, and uh, you know, through an intermediary, even to campaigns, political campaigns. Wouldn't surprise me at all if we discover, probably several years from now, that many of these Republicans, particularly Marjorie Taylor Greene, Mike Johnson, Scott Perry, you know, the usual suspects, these idiots, these asses, if we discover that they're actually being paid by Russia. I wouldn't be surprised at all. I, and as a matter of fact, I hearken back to the 2016 election, which, of course, brought in the monster of, of, of Donald Trump, right. who does Vladimir Putin's bidding. We know that they hacked into the DNC and, and in so doing really hobbled Hillary Clinton's campaign. But we also know that they got into the Republican uh, 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 National Party. But that was never released to the public, exactly. and that makes me very suspicious. What did the what did the Russians learn? Uh, are they using that information to put leverage on GOP? The, there has to be a. I believe firmly, Tom, that eventually, and I keep saying this to my Ukrainian friends, although it's getting harder and harder to do so, that we will make the right decision. We will force. Speaker Johnson to bring this because the American people do know what this means and they don't like betraying a friend and an ally. But I want to see a postmortem. Well, a postmortem. When this is all said and done, I want to look I want there to be an investigation and find out why it was that we 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 put the people of Ukraine who we firmly promised we would support 
in a position like this. For, we should not months. be where we are. Yeah, and it's 16 been 16 months, months since no the new ammunition. Over the house. And also think about this. Think about this, Tom. It, it, it's not just guns and ammo. It's it's this is a country under intense attack. I have a friend, an Irish friend, who runs a mental health hotline, and they get a lot of their funding from USAID. And that Lifeline Ukraine, it's a it's a wonderful program that where people who are in absolute utter psychological distress can call in 24-7 and get psychological aid and Potentially, it's not just the bombs that kill people. There's psychological damage, and yeah. suicide rates are up here. That that wonderful program, that program that only helps people, has has had the spigot turned off on it as well. It's not by just Republicans the bombs. in Congress. Oh, because it's USAID. By, by, by the it's USAID. So uh, the the funds have been have been you know Amazing. basically turned off. These and it's, so it's criminals. not just bombs. This yeah, is, this they're, is they're, criminal. They have blood on their hands. Yeah. They have blood on their hands, and, and it is a disgrace. And we we are obligated. We made promises to these people. Right. And we and, and, and this is this is doing massive damage to America uh in terms of their international relations. The Europeans are now looking, the European Union is now l openly talking about how much you, the U.S. is no longer a reliable ally. Yep. I mean, there was a discussion in the European Parliament just today that they have to find Patriot missile systems to send here because no longer can they trust Washington. This is exactly we what Putin We shouldn't be there. Yeah, this That's is exactly, exactly what let me, let me just The put GOP this number is out. doing Putin's bidding. Yeah, let me put this number out for our listeners one more time to call the congressional switchboard 202 224 3121. Give me your zip code. They'll tell you who your member of the House is and ask for that person and tell them Ukraine aid now. Phil Hittner, thanks, Phil, for dropping by. Thank you, Tom. It's always good talking to you. We'll be back. It's 18 minutes past the hour. Why do Republicans oppose Joe Biden's efforts to cancel student debt? I'll tell you about that on the other side of the break.